I'm Rajiv Jain from GQG Partners, based out of US. We manage global equities along with emerging markets. As the name suggests, which is global quality growth, we look for quality business that had sensible prices. Businesses that have high barriers to entry have been around for a while and we feel they'll be around for the long run, as long as they're selling at reasonable prices in a relatively concentrated fashion. You know, I think knowledge is cumulative, so having looked at a lot of these names over the long run, uh, we travel a lot, uh, you know, meeting through conferences, so on and so forth, but also through, we have investigative journalists uh, and, and, and also our, what I call regular buy side analysts. So it's a combination of all of the above to generate new ideas. The portfolio construction revolves around buying the highest conviction name in a much larger fashion. So we try to have relatively concentrated top end. In other words, top 20 names would typically make between 60 to 70 percent of the portfolio. And then there's a tail. Now that tail basically feeds the larger positions over the long run. And all these businesses are the businesses where we feel minority shareholders will be taken care of, have high barriers to entry, and are still reasonably priced. We think a name like Mao Tai would fit the bill, uh, which, is a, uh, which is a product that has been around for hundreds of years, literally 800 plus years, and it's still basically short supply, tends to grow at low, you know, low single digit volume wise, but I think earnings with, with pricing should be allowed them to grow at low double digits. So that's a, that kind of business would, 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 would fit the bill uh, from our style perspective. Another name that we have owned for a while is a company called HDFC Bank in India. That is a bank that's been around for basically 25 years. They still have around six, six and a half percent market share, but the management has been remarkably astute in avoiding problematic areas in terms of lending, and hence they continue to grow at you know mid to high teens. They still have around six percent market share, so they still have quite a bit of headroom to grow in a country where the banking penetration is still on a lower side. So, so, so that kind of name would 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 fit our criteria for longer term ownership.